The NCover Bolt multi-platform test runner gives you the ability to run tests from within Visual Studio or from the command line. To run tests from within Visual Studio, open the NCover menu and select either Run Tests or Debug Tests. By default, your selection will be applied to all of the assemblies in your project. To run only a subset of the assemblies, select the assemblies you want to test and then select the Run Tests or Debug Tests option, either from the end cover menu or from the Bolt Run Tests or Debug Tests icons at the top of the Bolt Tests window. In addition, you may run a single assembly from within the Bolt Test window by right-clicking the Bolt icon located next to the desired assembly. The NCover Bolt Test Runner can also be executed from within the Code Editor window by clicking on the Bolt icon next to the desired test and either running or debugging that particular test. It is important to note that when you choose to run a single test or a subset of tests, only the affected code will be profiled and all other code will be displayed as uncovered. As your development process requires, you may also elect at any time to either disable the Bolt test runner or prevent the Bolt test runner from collecting code coverage. And Cover Bolt also provides you with the ability to run tests from the Windows command line. The command line format for Bolt is executed by the Bolt EXE. When Bolt is called from the command line, a prompt will appear presenting all of the arguments that Bolt accepts. Arguments include filters, the location where you would like to save the results, a working directory, and a parameter to manually specify which version of the test runner agent you would like to use. Running from the command line will also allow you to see the results of your test printed to the command prompt. The number of tests failed, ignored, and passed will all be printed, along with the testing, setup, and teardown times.